Well, another day, another really bad poll for Donald Trump. According to the latest data available, 40% of the country, a plurality, believes that Donald Trump should go to prison following his felony conviction. 40% in a new poll say, I want that guy in jail. And this is a poll conducted from Emerson College Polling. And they found that 40% of registered voters think Trump should be sentenced to prison. 25% said he should pay a fine and 15% said he should just get probation. 20% said, ah, we don't know. I love those undecided. Like, how can you not have opinions on things? <laughs> Cause every poll is like these large numbers of people who are like, I don't know. Was it the right decision? I don't know. I don't, I don't pay attention to anything. I don't know what's going on in the world. I don't know why I'm talking to you if I don't have opinions. But either way, a plurality did say, ship him off to jail. But of course, those numbers change a little bit when you get along party lines. Pollsters noted more than half or 67% of Democrats surveyed said Trump should serve prison time, while 46% of Republicans think he should pay a fine. Independents were split more evenly with 42% of the party of voters saying Trump should serve prison time, 22% choosing a fine and 14% choosing probation. Um, that's, uh, that's not an even split. I don't, I don't know who this was written by the Hill. I don't know who there is doing your numbers, but 44% versus 22%. That's not an even split. Even when you add 14% to 22%, it still is not an even split for, uh, split for 44%. No, that's eight point difference. That's a big difference. Eight points in a poll. Like this is one of the reasons, by the way, that polling pisses me off so bad is because you can spin it any way you want. If I hadn't pointed out to you the fact that they just claimed it was an even split 44% to 36%, you wouldn't have caught that, would you? Most people are going to read that and be like, okay, so it's even. And that's what sticks in their mind. It's even, but it's not. A plurality of independents say, uh, send this guy to jail. That is remarkable. Now it gets a little murkier here. A plurality of 40% said Trump's convictions do not impact their decision at the polls this November, while a third said they make them less likely to support him. So 33% say, yeah, I'm, I'm less likely to support him now. 40% say, nope, I've already made up my mind. And when you consider the fact that that 40% does include both Democrats and Republicans, that is not shocking at all. So it's that number, that 42% of independents that say, I am less likely to vote for him now, or the third, excuse me, the 33% that say I'm less likely to vote for him now. The 42% of independents that say, yes, I think he should go to jail. That is the number that matters. Democrats know who Democrats are going to vote for. Republicans know who Republicans are going to vote for. It's those independents, the moderates, the swing voters, all of that. Those people are telling us loud and clear, I'm not going to vote for this guy, or I am less likely to vote for this guy, or I kind of hope that guy's in prison. So Trump and his people can think that this conviction is going to somehow help them all they want but literally every piece of polling data since that conviction tells us that this is significantly hurting Donald Trump's chances for reelection. Hey everybody. I don't know if you've noticed this, but we are closing in on a pretty major milestone here at fair and balanced as we approach 500,000 subscribers but we're not there yet and we definitely need your support. So if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget like and comment on the videos and share them as widely as possible.